Hi, I'm Danielle Chang from Lucky Rise, and I'm so excited to be celebrating Cafe Pacific's five nonstop dailies from the New York region to Hong Kong. Join us tonight at 16 Hours to Hong Kong, where we're going to be traveling to Hong Kong through the lens of culinary and mixology delights from chefs and mixologists such as Piche Ong, Anita Lo, Xavier Harris, Orson Salicetti, Yunnan Kitchen, and Outer Borough. Come on, let's go. We're celebrating our new flight, and the new flight goes from Newark to Hong Kong. We're now uh, five times a day to New York, so having a bit of New York ingredients on a cafe flight is extremely exciting. Tonight, this menu is inspired by Hong Kong. We'll be serving sky and pege with beef, that's what we're known for, curry fish balls, and ayu jelly jasmine tea. Uh, Hong Kong has such a vibrant food culture, and I have so many memories from there. My fondest food memory of Hong Kong is definitely the, the curry fish balls and the stinky tofu. You know, walking through the streets of Hong Kong and actually smelling that, you know, late at night really, really brings back a lot of memories. One of the fondest memories I remember about Hong Kong is the seafood restaurants where you pick out your seafood for the night, bring that product, you go to the restaurants, they cook it for you. memories is eating at this little tiny shack, open air shack on Peng Chow. Um, and there was really no name for the restaurant. There's no cars on this island. It's just so beautiful. Like you walk through town and you just hear the mahjong tiles and um, you know you can see the ocean. The two cocktails I'm doing today, one is the Sassy. The Sassy is one of the classic historical American cocktails and I give it a little twist with the, with the Hong Kong ingredient. It's the dragon tea. Also, I'm doing a margarita. The margarita is with aged tangerine pills, very, very common in the Hong Kong culture. For Cathay Airlines event tonight, we're going to feature two cocktails. One is called the Mover's Milk, which is actually a coconut reduced with lemongrass and kaffir lime leaves as a Chinese ingredient. Uh, the second cocktail is actually the Shoshu. Uh, the Shoshu is a we use a shoshu, which is a Japanese wine, also distilled from carrot and rice, oloroso sherry that brings a nutty flavor, lime juice, and topped with root beer. I totally draw inspiration from foods that I had growing up in Hong Kong. One of the cookies is made with sesame and orange, which I, you know, grew up eating, uh, you know, as part of like uh, dim sum. Like there's always a sesame crusted shrimp with like a plum orange kind of sauce. My mom's actually from Hong Kong. I traveled a lot when I was a kid there. Ate a lot. I really love Hong Kong. There's a lot of really delicious food. We had some scallion pancakes and beef tartare, all of which was presented really beautifully and it was just a lot of really savory, delicious bites. These amazing uh, shrimp dumplings from Red Farm. They were fabulous. I feel like I'm transported to the other side of the world. Lucky winner will be awarded two Cathy Pacific business class tickets from Newark to Hong Kong, a three night stay at Miramook Hotel in Wan Chai, Hong Kong, and a 15 minute unique helicopter ride courtesy of Hong Kong Tourism Board. Given the name Fred, family name Goldberger. I've been to Hong Kong a couple of times and I'm really excited, especially to be going back on Cathay Pacific over there. Thank you very much, Cathay Pacific.